What's up, Meat Geeks? Nick here with Paradise Locker. Uh, spring is starting to show its face around, so it's starting to get warmer, starting to be ready to fire up some uh, grills and do some outdoor cooking and getting back into that swing of things. So I realized that, you know, being up here in Trimble, um, you know, we're not super accessible to everybody, really convenient for a lot of you folks that maybe live down in Kansas City or in and around Kansas City. Um, maybe don't know that we have a retail store. But uh, for those of you that haven't been up and seen us so far or, or are curious about what we have to offer, um, I just thought I'd do a little short tour of our retail store. So let's hop into the store and we'll get into the meat of the matter. So you walk in the front door and we uh, turn to the right. You'll immediately see our smoked meats case. So this is all of our cured and smoked items. So we do, uh, we do all of our cooking and curing in-house. Um, all of our bacons, we have a, a whole case with uh, specifically for bacon, a few different varieties. We've done a video on the varieties of bacon that we have. Um, but we also have like smoked pork chops, smoked hocks for ham and beans, summer sausages, snack meats, that kind of thing. Um, and we have our own line of deli meats down here on the bottom. We do a ham, a shaved pepper beef, a couple different kinds of bologna, a, t a smoked turkey breast. <sighs> Into the next case, we carry a couple different Missouri companies. So one of them is Hotly, that's a distribution company out of St. Louis that does Wisconsin cheeses. And then there is a um, company in Sweet Springs, Missouri, Hemi Brothers. And um, Hemi does, uh, they have um, producing all their own cheese here right in Missouri. So local products in our store, uh, it's a big aspect for us. So we also have down here on the bottom we have some farm fresh eggs that we carry from one of our local farmers barham family farms um stay tuned for that because we're going to be doing a partner profile video coming up with barham uh with mr kenny and, and his farm um he's got some great products in the little retail store over in carney um but we love working with him and so we carry his eggs have a little bit of his uh, poultry over in the freezer case as well with some whole chickens um but after that we do, uh, we have a few different beverages. We've got some, some beers that we carry, uh, Polly's Pop, which is an independence company that produces their own soda. As part of my knowledge, I think the only company that's producing um, soda in, in the state of Missouri, which is pretty cool. So we have those guys in here as far as some other options. Right next to that, we have our local spirits. Um, so all of these are uh, spirits that are done in uh, of the earth farm distillery and out of uh, just uh, close to Rayville, Missouri. So um, then we also have uh, underneath those, we have some wines that we carry. Uh, we've got Four Horses wine that's out of Excelsior. We've got Windy wine that's up near Osborne, Missouri. Uh, we've got Ladoga Ridge that's just down the road from us in Smithville. Um, so all of those, the spirits and the, and the wines that we carry all are 100% um, here in Missouri and, and not too far from us. So moving over to our freezer case, down here on the end, we've got our bratwursts. We've done a video on the varieties of bratwursts that we carry and some different stuff there. Uh, we've got 20, 25 different flavors that we do. Um, so there's plenty of options to choose from, all kinds of good ones in there. Moves next to our poultry case. So um, the main brand that we carry in poultry, because we're not producing uh, poultry here in-house, um, is the Gerber brand, which is an Amish community co-op out of Ohio. And it's phenomenal quality poultry. If you haven't tried this stuff yet, it's really good. About the only chicken I ever take home in my freezer. So um, we do carry some commodity chicken breast, a marinated one. Uh, and then down here below, we have, like I said, uh, whole chickens from Kenny Barham's farm. Um, down below, we have uh, flour tortillas. We like to keep them in the freezer. They don't have a super long shelf life. So to be able to carry them and, and keep selling them, um, Yoli tort uh, Tortoria down in Kansas City. Uh, we carry their Sonoran style tortilla, uh, which is made with our local Berkshire pork fat. So super cool, love the partnership with those guys and their product is phenomenal. Um, moving next, we have our pork case. We start uh, one of uh, two different cases of pork. Uh, fresh pork items, a few cured smoked pork items, a um, few cured and smoked frozen items that we have over here in the freezer case like spiral hams ready for easter that kind of thing but fresh local pork program um i'll do a video on our pork program and what it all means but local local pork uh small family farms berkshire breed outdoor raised um really really good quality pork if you've been kind of off the fence or you've had a bad pork chop and it's kind of turned you off of pork like 
you know, come in and try this because the, these, these farmers do an amazing job of raising these animals and the, the, the quality, the, the texture, the moisture content, the flavor that you get from this is, is not what you're finding in the grocery stores. Um, moving down from there, we've got our beef case here. So a few different options. We've got things like short rib plates for smoking. We've got chuck roast for your pot roast type of stuff. We've got some hamburger patties that we do in house. Um, one that's kind of unique and I like is our is our butcher's blend patty. Uh, it's a 45% uh, beef, 45% pork, 10% bacon blended patty. Super delicious. Really, really good. Uh, really, really good hamburger patty. So uh, you can come in and try that out. Um, a few other things like T-bones, flank steak, skirt steak, um, hamburger. Uh, we do a local hamburger program. Um, so we have, we produce our own hamburger here in house. And then um, moving down from that one, we have uh, seafood and some uh, exotic meats, things like uh, bison, things, uh, we do carry a little bit of elk as far as ground, patties, um, but you know, a few things here and there like rabbit, duck, uh, whole pheasant, you know, that some few unique items that we carry just to have around and um, have available to you guys. So, and then down here on the very end, this is our organ meats case. It's a little dark because the light's out, but um, we have, we carry beef heart, uh, we carry tongue, we carry liver, kidney, um, bones. We've got quite a few different bone options for those of you who got little fur babies at home. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we also carry some lard. You know, we've got a lot of uh, local hunters around the area that during hunting season, they're grinding their own hamburger, all that kind of stuff. So um, we've got some lard options over there as well uh, for, for that kind of stuff. And for anybody rendering their own lard at home or, you know, you want to use beef, uh, beef suet in a, in a bird feeder, anything of that kind of thing, uh, we've, we've got some options for you there. So now starting to move across on the fresh side of stuff, we've got a spice shelf here. We carry a couple different brands of spices. Excalibur is a company that we've worked with for 20 plus years. Um, they do quite a few of our cures, a lot of our sausage spices and stuff like that. So they have some seasoning shakers that are all really good. We kind of pick some of our favorites and some of our customer favorites to, to carry. Um, we also carry a, uh, another brand called Our Butts Are Smoking. Um, it was a competition team in Kansas City that did competition barbecue for a lot of years. And they don't do a whole lot of competition anymore, but they have a whole line of rubs that were hit their competition rubs that they use and we think they're awesome so we've got them here um right next to the spice shelf we've got our fresh meats case so this is our steak case generally we've got some of our uh, corned beef tri-tips um, that we have for sale available right now uh, but we also have fresh steaks so boneless ribeyes strips fillets uh we've got usually got those we do a nice big really big thick cut uh french ribeye or a bone-in ribeye those are in the fresh case for the most part, almost all the time. So uh, we got those and that's the fresh meats case there. Um, if it is your first time in, understand when you come in, we're gonna set you up. We're gonna get you set up in the system. We're gonna get you a um, blue insulated shopping bag. So these guys right here, you're gonna get one of those, get a blue insulated shopping bag to take home. It'll be on us for your first time in. Uh, and then that gets you a little bit of a discount on Mondays if you bring that bag in and shop with you. So beyond that, we've got things like our snack sticks right here. And we've got our jerkies that we make here in house. Our snack sticks, just to be transparent, our snack sticks are the only product that we have that we don't make in house. Um, but we do our jerkies, our whole muscle jerkies. We do a barbecue pork and a beef. And then we have some more smoked dog bones over here. And then moving in over here to our um, jarred shelf. So things like some preserves. Um, we do uh, a locally produced mustard from an a organization called Boys Grow. And then we have a bunch of different options, like things like corn relish, sauerkraut, uh, tomatillo salsa, a couple different salsas, different things like that. So uh, we have a few of those over here on the jarred shelf uh, as well for you guys to look at, um, as well as some local honey. So we have um, uh, BE Kind Apiary has uh, hives in Smithville and um, Carney, so as, as local to us as we can with the producer, uh, we've got his local honey that we carry, and it's um, treated absolutely as little as possible to get it into a bottle and to get out to the public. So um, it's a really good quality product, and we have a lot of our customers that like it a lot.
Um, and then about the only other thing that we do is we carry some lump charcoal. Of course, we, we sell a lot of meat. Um, we sell to a lot of people that do a lot of smoking, uh, that do a lot of grilling. And so um, we've gone through a couple different companies, never really had any issues with one, but we, we lost our supply um, from our first one. And so we've moved to, uh, to Blue's Hog Charcoal and we like it a lot. It's, it's a really good product and it's the charcoal that I use at home. Um, and so we have that as well. Um, and you see right there above me, just as a little homage to where we've came from, where we're at, where we've came from. That's a picture right there above the door. Um, that was a picture of how we, my parents purchased the locker in 1995 um, with the A-frame roof on the top. And then the picture here um, to my right is how the locker was originally built in 1946. So, um, so they say we kind of keep those up on the wall to kind of keep us in tune about where where we've uh, where we've been um, and and what what Paradise Locker has been about uh, in the community since 1946, which is an important aspect to us. So that's the retail store in a nutshell. We'd love you to come up and see us. Um, we'd love to take care of you and serve some of your needs coming through. So uh, you know we appreciate you guys stopping in, going on a tour with me here. Uh, let me know what you guys think and. Uh, We'll see you soon. Almost completely forgot, you know, if you're not local to us or, you know, Trimble is just, it's, I get it, it's, it, it's not the closest or, or most convenient location. Uh, don't forget that we do have a online store. So if you go to paradisemeats.com, we've got a lot of our products here in the retail store available online. Um, we can do ground shipping. I can do ground shipping nationwide. So relatively affordable when it comes to the shipping aspect of it. And, um, you know, go check that out if you don't have time to drive up and you can see some of the stuff that we're doing. All right. It's again, appreciate you stopping in. We'll see you next time.